The much-hyped August general elections are just about the corner with less than 65 days to go. Two main political alliances will be competing to form the next government. Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance led by the United Democratic Alliance Party leader Deputy President Dr. William Samoa Arap Ruto and the Azimio Lamoa One Kenya Movement led by the Orange Democratic Movement Party leader Honorable Relu Amolo Odinga are in the race to ensure that they form the next government. But Interior Cabinet Secretary Dr. Fred Mashangai is the one who is on the spotlight after what he said will happen during the August polls. According to the nation Africa Kenya, CS Dr. Fred Mashangai said that the government will not shut down Twitter over elections. There have been fears that social media could be shut down during the August polls. But CS Dr. Fred Mashangai has clarified on that issue which has left Kenyans happily. We are a democratic environment. Kenyans chose democracy. And we gave it to ourselves through our constitution. Uh, the government is not going to act otherwise. We will respect freedoms. In the hope that as we respect the freedoms of others, uh, those who would like to exercise their freedoms in expression, in association, uh, in supporting their preferred uh, uh, candidates and individuals, will do so while taking into consideration uh, the welfare of the whole of society. Uh, no amount of insults, as I've said before, no amount of criticism of us in the executive branch of government will tempt us enough to resort to retrogressive acts of interfering with freedoms like shutting the internet or, you know, uh, clawing back on freedoms we have acquired through uh, the constitution and through the law. We have a great country. God has been kind and gracious to us and he has blessed us with a wonderful country, wonderful people with incredible potential. And this is where I end my remarks by saying that in the development of this cyber security strategy, we are looking for a way of ensuring that we exploit our potential to the full without hurting any of our businesses or hurting each other. Uh, you know, how great would it be if we were able to uh, go to the farthest extent that our imagination and innovation can take us while we preserve our national unity, while we preserve the integrity of our economic transactions, while we preserve the integrity of our businesses and our trade, and while we protect our people as we move forward. It will be a fantastic thing to do, and this cyber security strategy leads us in that direction where we will ensure that we will continue to exploit our potential as a society and as a country without hurting each other individually or collectively as it were. So I am one of those people who are really looking forward to the completion of this exercise, Kanumbati, and uh, I'm one of those uh, players in this sector who are enthusiastically looking forward to uh, the outcome of this uh, meeting here. And the advice we will receive from uh, some of the people who are here, I've had occasion to work with some people here in the room whom I can see around, very smart people, and, and people for whom I thank God every day that we have such an incredible brain trust in our country. Smart people who always offer very good ideas and solutions to some of the challenges we face. And on behalf of government, I want to commit that we will take all the advice we receive from subject matter experts who are here, we'll take all advice that we receive from all the participants who are here in terms of developing this uh, cyber security strategy. And when it comes to execution, we will do our part faithfully to ensure that for us in the security sector, we will do what will be required to do in this strategy to ensure that we breathe life to it, to ensure that it actually has true and genuine meaning in our society.